I'm Marissa from Twisted Throttle and I'm here to show you how to install luggage on your Yamaha T7. You'll be taking the T7 on your next adventure, so you need luggage as rugged as the bike. That's why we chose to outfit our T7 with the dry spec H35 side cases. These military spec side cases are crush proof and completely waterproof, offering your belongings maximum protection while out on the road or trail. Let's take a look at the parts you need to mount the H35s and how to install them. The base of this system is the SW Motec Pro Side Carrier. This rack system is fairly universal and will work with a variety of side case options. When paired with the dry spec A-lock adapter, the H35 cases attach quickly and easily. First, we're going to remove the two subframe bolts and the passenger ped brackets on each side of the bike. Next, attach the mounting brackets on the upper subframe, using the spacers if you aren't already attaching a top rack, or using the top rack bracket and spacers if you are. Do not fully tighten the screws just yet. Attach the next bracket between the frame and the passenger peg brackets. Attach the crossbar to the inner license plate holes of the mudguard. Twisted tip, if you're using an OEM license plate holder, we suggest reversing the direction of the bolts that you see here so that the nut is facing the rear of the bike. This will allow you to tighten the crossbar and the license plate bracket without any issues. Next, connect the side carriers using the quick lock fasteners. Make sure that all the components line up properly. If you'd rather use a non-quick lock option, the permanent bolt kit or the locking quick release kit is available separately. Once the side carriers and the top rack, if you're installing one, are in place, tighten all the bolts to the proper torque. You will need to remove the side carriers again to completely tighten the uppermost mounting bolts. As always, be sure to use liquid thread locker like Loctite 243 when installing all bolt-on accessories. We've already installed the side carriers, so the support arms are already attached to the bike. Next, we're gonna install the rubber end caps onto the support arms. Then we will attach the top plate using the bolts, washers, and nuts. Do not tighten the bolts just yet. This plate has two sets of mounting holes, offering a forward mounting position or a rearward mounting position. We are opting for the rearward mounting position. If you are riding with a passenger, you may want to do the same. Once everything is lined up, tighten the bolts to the proper torque. Again, be sure to use thread locker. The soft luggage adapter offers slightly more surface area for mounting dry bags like the dry spec D38. The adapter is mounted using four bolts, which attach to the threaded holes in the adventure rack. We will start with the lower mounting points. Using the supplied bolts and spacers, attach the lower mounting points to the SW Motec side rack. Do not tighten completely just yet. Repeat this for the upper mounting points. The latch will be placed in between the adapter and the rack with the C-shape facing the motorcycle. Pull the latch upward as you tighten the bolts to torque. Be sure to use thread locker here too. The latch can be adjusted up or down to increase latching force on the H35 case if needed. Typically speaking, the higher the latch, the better. Place the H35 against the A-lock adapter, then slide down until it stops. Be sure that all four mounting tabs are around the A-lock adapter. Swing the latch on the case over the tab on the rack. Press down to latch into place. Turn the key to lock the case to the rack. If the indicator is green, the latch is locked. If the indicator is red, the latch is not locked. The D38 is a rigid dry bag, meaning you can securely strap it in place even when completely empty. This makes the D38 a great option for mounting to your top rack. The D38 comes with several slip lock mounting straps which can be used to secure the bag. We will attach the straps to any part of the frame or rack, then adjust to the perfect length. To attach the strap to the bag, simply slide the buckle through the mounting tab on the bag and lock it in place. Tighten the bag so that it's securely on the bike.
Now that all your luggage is attached to the bike, it's time to hit the road. With this luggage setup, you'll be able to carry everything you need for a long trip. You can find all these parts and more by visiting twistedthrottle.com.